Hi guys, Yasmeen Jackie here. Um, I am going to show you a quick and easy uh, tool to use every day. I always do this before my workouts. Uh, I, when I go travel, I always do this before I get on a plane or in a long car ride. Um, it's called Body Rebuild and it was uh, designed by Carolyn Brumfield, but uh, in my workout, I'm gonna call it the wake up call. It's a system of movements that teaches your nervous system and your body how to use your muscles in a correct way. Uh, we sit a lot and we drive a lot and so our bodies have learned to adapt to that way of living and this bit, the stronger but smaller postural muscles get turned off and things just don't work right. Uh, do you ever experience any type of joint pain um, like knee pain, neck pain, and it may be due because due to that because of the postural muscles uh, being turned off. Um, so the wake up call, which I call it the wake up call, w will um, get your muscles working together, um, being balanced. Uh, the postural muscles are sleeping, I say, so we'll wake them up, and I do this every single day, um, even if I don't work out. Um, so what you will need is a block, um, yoga block or a hard book. You will need a mat um, or soft ground or um, uh, a towel. And you will need uh, a chair or a couch to put your legs up. And also uh, um, you'll be using a wall. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, it's gonna be a 30 second um, hold contraction and then we're going to move on so each one's going to be 30 seconds and it's about 10 minutes excuse me while I set this up so I'm going to turn my timer on and right here I have a block um, to put my legs up you don't need um, you need a chair or couch and then a yoga block and a timer. If you want to do it on your own, you can use a timer, but I will have a timer here. So the first thing I want you to do is relax with your legs up. And I want your legs at a 90 degree angle. So a perfect um, angle. Um, and just lay here and let your body just rest for 30 seconds. Uh, just be aware of where your body's at and let the ground, let the body melt into the ground. Wherever you're holding any tension, just breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth, and deep breaths. You're gonna use the deep breaths throughout the whole system. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, that's the buzzer. So the first exercise is a butt wink, and you've heard me before say it. You're gonna pull your buckle in towards, pretend there's a string attached inside, you're gonna pull it in and hold. Hold for two seconds and release. And hold and release. So this is activating our lower abdominals and the transverse abdominus, which is the cradle that holds everything inside. Okay, there it is. So you're gonna do glute squeezes. You're gonna take your butt muscles and you're gonna sandwich them together towards the midline, towards the middle. Hold for two seconds and then release. See that my pelvis is not moving. Hold, release. Squeeze, pull. Hold for two seconds, release. Okay, take your block and you're going to place it in between your knees, but I want you to find your deep inner muscle, uh, inner thigh muscles and pull them towards each other without moving this. Pull, two seconds and release. Keep going. Hold for two seconds. We're we're balancing out our inner and outer thighs. Okay, back to the glute squeezes or the butt muscle squeezes. Breathe, hold, 
Hold for two seconds and release. Hold for two seconds. Release. And hold. There's the buzzer. Grab your block. One more. Inner thighs. Make sure you're not pulling or pushing with your knees. You want it coming from the deep inner thighs. Breathe. Pull and hold for two seconds. Okay, the next one is a shoulder blade squeeze. You're gonna lift your arms up like goalposts. You're gonna relax your ribs, pull them down towards the mat, and then I'm gonna try and find your shoulder blades and you wanna pull them together towards the midline. Hold for two seconds and release. It's just a very small movement, nothing, you're not pushing with your shoulder. Okay, pullovers, clasp your hands, get your arms straight, breathe in, breathe out. Make sure when you pull your arms over, your ribs do not go with it. And then back up. Ribs down towards the mat as your arms go overhead. Okay, and now elbow touches. Touch the longest finger to your temple. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Try and relax the ribs, and you're gonna rotate, pulling in and pulling out. Try not to lift the shoulder blades off the floor. Okay, you can get rid of this. You're going to do a single leg hip hinge. So you're going to lift one leg up for 30 seconds. Now I'm planting my glutes, my left glute, into the ground and letting my hip flexor, which is mid thigh, pull my leg up to a 90 degree. Make this leg dead weight, heavy, heavy, heavy. And switch. Get heavy. Make sure you find that hip flexor. Dig, melt your glute into the ground. Okay, walk your heels up to your glutes. And this is a butt bridge. You're gonna make sure this leg is straight up and down. You're gonna squeeze your glutes and sandwich your glutes together, roll off the ground, starting with your butt. Let your back, upper back relax and open this part up. So you're gonna pull your glutes up towards the ceiling. Breathe. You wanna feel a nice long stretch in here. Okay. Walk your feet out. And you're gonna do a straight leg crossover. Lift your, flex both feet, legs straight. Let your whole body come over. Straighten both. Let your head follow your hand. Make sure the top leg inside ankle is on the ground by twisting your thigh towards the ground. And switch. Follow your hand. Flex both feet. Breathe. Okay, cat dog, get on all fours. And just relax your midsection. Right now I only want you to focus on your pelvis. 
Let your chest relax. You're going to curl up from your pelvis and bend your low abs and then your ribs and then pull down. Breathe. Curl from the pelvis. Okay, downward dog, flex your feet, lean forward, relax your shoulder, your chest through your shoulders and your midsection, glutes up towards the ceiling, and you're gonna pull your hip flexors and butt up towards the ceiling. Don't worry about straightening your legs. I want you to have a straight line from your head to your butt. Okay, and then you're gonna find a wall and you're going to, pretty far away, you're gonna get your feet out wide or far enough from you. Make sure your second toe is aligned with your knee. Roll down and push into the ground with your heel and push the back of your pelvis into the wall. So these top thigh muscles should be firing. And you're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. And then come on up. And that's it. And then what I want you to do is do your workout or move on with your day. Thanks for joining.